Hello lovelies, hello family, this is Kimberly Purpose and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing another video um, about the reparations. Um, I did an earlier video earlier, um, I believe about a week ago, about uh, reparations and for the American indigenous Americans here in the Americas. Um, the AKA African Americans. And um, I, there have been more articles and stories coming out as different politicians are sharing their stance and their opinions as to what they feel is right um, about reparation, whether or not they agree or disagree. And I been come across different articles and I wanted to share this one particular one with you about Elizabeth Warren, Warren the um, article. The previous one I touched on was pretty much an overview about uh, reparations and how I think about what I think about and what I think about the politicians. But I wanted to focus more on uh, Elizabeth Warren because she's the one who's been um, using the reparation as a way of adding more publicity towards her campaign. I've been noticing that, um, especially the Democratic Party, some politicians are for it and some politicians are against it. And the ones that are for it are using it as a platform to publicize themselves and also to use it for other ethnic groups besides the indigenous um, people who are the Af AKA African Americans, the Aborigines, who were the ones who have suffered from this great atrocity that happened for 500 years in this country. And Elizabeth Warren, for some reason, have this um, delusional mindset that Native Americans is, which are the Mongoloid Indians uh, and the $5 Indians, are should be beneficiaries to this particular settlement and me personally i believe that this particular settlement does not belong to any mongoloids or caucasians who are the five dollar indians or any caucasians for that matter should have their hands on it uh, she is one of these politicians who are very dangerous um who are very delusional who have in his mind that this particular reparation should go to everyone except for the indigenous people. She mentions African-Americans at the tail end of everything, but even though we are the group that were 100% affected by slavery, um, prison, prisoners of war, which I also believe is prisoners of war because a lot of the, Af you know, the, in the copper color race were the American Aboriginals. The Africa, you know, who were the ones who were conquered and were thrown into slavery. And that's um, been erased out of history, but it actually happened, and that's the Ashley Fox. But I, I'm going to read this article. It's very short. I'm um, going we'll to get straight to the point. Um, but I disagree fully with Elizabeth Warren. I don't think no Native American should get anything because. Native Americans have already been paid plenty of reparations, and they also got plenty of land. They're sitting pretty, they're sitting wealthy. And another issue is a lot of $5 Indians, the gray caucasoids, are sitting and reaping benefit off of these as well. And, and she wants to continue the same pattern, and we need to put a stop to it because she has, she, you know, for, you know also feel like that there should be entitlement to mostly in natives, which is not uh, fair to the um, you know, African Americans, and they don't have no stake in this. But anyway, it says here, uh, this particular article came from the Boston Globe, and um, it says, Warren suggests that Native Americans should be part of the conversation about reparations. And what gets me is whenever I, I did a Google search about the reparation for slaves, 
it comes up with Native Americans and politicians glorifying themselves. They need to understand that this platform about the African Americans has nothing to do with their assets. I'm sorry, their violence. And it's not something for them to reap monetary gain from. And it's not for them. And that's why we need to come and be more firm and adamant about the fact that this is not something for them. It's something for us that will be going into our pockets because we are the ones that suffer from it and still suffering from it. Reparation um, is not, for slavery, is not just a past problem. It's a current problem that is still going on today. And it's also something that we need to nip in the bud for the future, for our future generation. This particular article right here was um since their article is written by it's written by james pendon it's james pendell and was published on february 23rd uh 23rd 2019. on this picture here it says senator elizabeth warren answered questions from the media after the new hampshire democratic party 60th annual my um shireen hundred dinner club in Mancaster and see she's just sitting here um, talking about the plight of um, of um, the indigenous people as a platform to publicize herself and she's one of these five dollars in Indians it's obvious that she's very pale pale skinned woman she's of European descent and she's a gray Caucasian she's not an Indian she's one of the five dollars Indians and she's reaping all the monetary gains and rewards and warding resources that don't belong to her at all. And now she want to put her pasty hands in the pots of the indigenous aborigines. And we need to show this woman that we mean business and that her hands is not going to go into our pot. It's not for her and it's not for any of them. It's for us. And that money's and monetary gain will be going into our pockets. And um, I personally, I'm not going to go into details right yet. I'm going to share my opinions about it. I'm going to read this quick article real quick. But I got a few ideas of my own because um, they still got this this um, in his head that, that every, everything is for them. But we need to show these folks that we're not playing with them. We need to show them in a more aggressive way that they are not going to reap benefits off our backs anymore. And it's not for them, it's for us. And it says here, Mancaster, New Hampshire, new U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts suggests Friday that Native Americans, not just African Americans, should be part of the conversation when it comes to the federal government providing reparation as a way to address many minorities, uh, ways minorities have been punished in American history. And see, she got this thing messed up. Native Americans, uh, when she talking about Native Americans, she talking about the Mongoloids and about all the Indians. They already got their reparations, the Mongoloids and the, the uh, Grays. Um, should not have no rights to it at all. NATO should not either because they already got their reparations. That's double dipping. And that's just pure greed. I said they don't belong on this reparation bill at all. This particular um, settlement should be strictly for um, the Afro-Americans uh, and, and Native Americans and Caucasians including the five, especially the five dollar Indians, uh, should be excluded. You know, all of them should be, all other minority groups should be excluded from this. And and there is not for them. They're not in, in um, a slave. They're not prisoners of war. They didn't suffer anything. They, you know, I haven't seen Caucasians hanging on trees from Jim Crow. I have not seen a bunch of Mongoloid Indians hanging on trees from Jim Crow. That's an atrocity that we've been through. And since it's not something that they experienced or have been through our fight, flight, uh, then they don't have no hand in the game. And so I think we're going to have to show them more aggressively that we, they're not getting anything, you know. And I, think, I know personally, I don't know if this election is enough because 
um, for some reason, they still uh, acting dumb and retarded and thinking that it's okay to continue this. But I think a more aggressive measures need to be taken upon these politicians to show that we mean business. Politicians, the government in every way, you know, because this is our money. So this is what our legacy and it has nothing to do with anyone else. This is not everybody's part. It's the indigenous aborigines the AKA African Americans plight on um, the people who are born on this soil. And it says reparation either through many simple financial payments or more bro broadly of addressing structural discrimination in health, education and housing policies been a topic for presidential campaigns this week. Four candidates including Warren said that they back reparation of some kind of African Americans as a way of addressing slavery and the legacy of slavery uh, centuries later. And she, she got a lot of nerve because she mentioned African Americans mostly towards the end of this and then put uh, Native Americans don't have nothing, should not, when she talk, uh, she need to be clarifying Native Americans. I believe she's talking about the Mongolo Indians, and Mongolo Indians don't belong that there. Yes, the American Aborigines, the indigenous people were here first. We are also natives. We are also indigenous here. I said we were here prior to the natives. So we should be getting all of this. But natives, the Mongoloids, and that's why I said when we draw this up, it should exclude Mongolo Indians because and then it's clear as defined that they already got their reparation. And, and it should exclude all gray Caucasians, the grays. Well, I mean the grays, the aka white people, which I don't call them white. I give them a dark color to show uh, frequencies of exposing their true nature and light, which is gray. Uh, Caucasian should not be getting anything because they, how can you get something from if you're the one who created it and imposed it on other people? And since you're the imposer and you're the criminal, you should be paying out. And, um, like I said, I know that uh, right now they are, you know. We need to ensure that they listen to us, and I don't know if just the political thing is the only answers. I think one way to also punish these people and to show that we mean business is to withhold money at every mean possible from grays, especially in the government. And uh, we need to research this and how they come up with creative ways of um ensuring that um more and more people in the government and these politicians don't have access to any of our monies see if you one way to bet the only thing these people understand is money and power and one way we can do i like the fact that we're talking about withholding votes and another way is withholding money from people as well I have some ideas on how that can be done. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on this platform right now. Um, because um, certain things is not should be told over the internet, but only told to a select few that are willing to get the things done and get the job done. We do need to work as a collective, though, in order to get things done. But I do believe that one another avenue is withholding money and there the problem i see here is that oftentimes everybody got their monies in our pockets that's why they want us to the bottom because we're bleeding out here we're imaging with our money and resources and if we could come together and come up with a way to keep our money in-house i have some idea i have one idea in particular what i think will really work but I don't know if it's wise to put it here on this particular platform. But uh, but anyway, and not here nor there. But, you know, yeah, you know, maybe we can withhold it from, like we said, we do it through boycotts, but no boycotts work. Withholding money from um, sales of products. And I give another tip. You know, taxes, 
you know, we pay t- the mo- lots in taxes all the time when we constantly forking out dollars. They don't have tax dollars, then you can't, you know, you know, that's another avenue, you know, because why should they, that's why I feel like that should be part of the reparation. Um, we should not be paying taxes to the people that have enslaved us and it's constantly enslaving us to this very day through the mass incarceration. They get free labor and, you know, we're bleeding here and it's like they never paid us back anything. And so, and that's why I said that uh, part of the reparation is no taxes. And we show them by not giving our monies to them at all, you know. And I think it's just going to take a collective effort. I think starting off with the election is a positive step. But I also think withholding money from certain groups of people is another another way. Um, banking systems finding out ways to tear down the infrastructure financially is another weapon in which we can use to get grays to understand, especially these politicians, you know, I mean, gray, these coons that are, who are saying he was us, who are still our enemy. And they too need to understand that they ain't getting no more of our money and resources than our time. You know, if, they, you know, you're going to have to really show them. We're going to have to really show them, you know, and it's going to be tough, but we could do it. I don't think it'll be too tough because I believe that this little gray empire is crumbling and the infrastructure is falling down because it, it, it was very weak in the first place. It wasn't built on its own. It was built on the blacks of a certain group of people that they want to constantly keep down and oppress, which is us. But we're on the right step with the election, not letting people, certain groups of people get our votes who are not in favor of us having an agenda and having an action plan to implement, to go forward. And Elizabeth Warren is definitely not a good candidate, and we need to show her as, as as well, that we're not going to sell her as being a representation of us as well. And if she's inclusive of natives giving our monetary gain, natives did not include us in their reparation and refused to inc- be inclusive of us, then why should we be inclusive of them? This wasn't their character they didn't have they they didn't go through this majority of them have haven't gone through this they haven't suffered jim crow they haven't suffered as much as mass incarceration they haven't suffered slavery they haven't suffered none of this you know we have done and our reparation is strictly for us you know the indigenous aborigines of the americas in the united states you know, and the indigenous aborigines of other countries should go after their oppressors as well, such as Jamaica and Britain, such as the Haitians against French. You know, it's something that we all should be doing, you know, but the immigrants who are here, um, I agree, do not be not should not be owed reparation at all. You know, if you are not from the United States, that's why I have an issue with um, that politician that's um, trying to run an office, uh, Camilla, Camilla Harris. You know, she is of Jamaican and Indian descent. She's still not a U.S. indigenous person. So she, and that's an issue with Barack Obama. He was from Africa, African uh, Kenyan descent mixed with European, and so he's still not one of us because he still don't understand our plight. But even the ones that we have in there that are indigenous for the U.S., too many of them are coons. Too many of them are licking the booty crack of great supremacy and up in it. A lot of them are all the way up in it, and a lot of them, you know, are married to spouses that are either of the same hue, other grays, or they are licking the booty crack of great supremacy if they're the same you of us. 
<laughs> Even if they're married to them, they might still be looking at boot crack. We've got too many coons up in there. And that's the problem. That's the reason why a lot of things don't get done. They get paid off. They make them money. They reap the end of it. And that's why things don't get done. And they, that's going to have to come to an end. I think all of us are getting tired of that. You know, and that's why we don't listen to mainstream media because everything is slanted towards gray supremacy. And um, there's no benefit in it at all. But as far as Elizabeth Warren, Elizabeth Warren, you are not, you don't dictate to us what we get in reparation, okay, dear? You dictate to your own people, the $5 Indians and Caucasians, okay? And Mongols are not us. They, the Mongolo Indians did not it's not us. We didn't go in and get handouts on your stuff and stay. Everybody wasn't inclusive of your reparation. You know, you got yours. Okay. If this is our turn and it's going to be excluding Caucasians and the Mongolites. Y'all are not inclusive of this settlement. And I'm sorry, it's not going to you all. We will fight you on this. And it's going to be hell to pay. And not only that, because we are really are getting sick and tired. Not sick and tired. I said it's starting to boil to the point where we are really, you know, it's like an eternal faint flame within our very minds and our souls and our spirit that reaches from fire and, and, you know, and pain of our ancestors that goes deep within us. And we are getting to the point where enough is enough. And we are not going to sit here lightly and just let you scale over us without a fight. So are you all going to do something or we get you out of there? How about that? But the same status quo cannot continue. And this reparation is not for you all. It will be going into our pockets one way or another. Because karmatic energy is overflowing right now over you guys. Y'all don't seem to understand the laws of nature. You can't keep on getting over for centuries and think that you could just walk all the way unscathed. Your turn for pain is coming. And it's long overdue. It's already coming, y'all, in denial. And it's coming. And it's nothing you all can do about it. Y'all try to fix it, but it can't, it can't be fixed because you're not gods. Y'all think you're gods, but you're not. There is something much stronger than you. And you all, saw, you all see, but this time is ours. It's not y'all's and it's not y'all's to benefit from and profit off of this hour turn. But yeah, that's all I have to say. This is not, uh, she don't speak for us. She's not a leader of our people. And it's funny how they had the audacity to put themselves as telling us what we get. You don't tell us anything. We tell you, okay? And we... We tell you our demands and you do it. It's not the other way around. Okay. You don't tell us anything because you are the ones that are being punished for it. And you are going to pay for it. And it's definitely not going to do. But um, please tell me what you all think. Do you think Elizabeth Warren should be trying to dictate and tell how things are done with reparation when it comes to the indigenous aborigines, the slaves? Do you think she has a right to, um, so, you know, do you think that it's okay for everyone else to get our reparation? Personally, I think no. Everyone else is not inclusive of this because they've never been through our fight. And this is our reparation, and it should go directly into our account for us, land rights included. And, yeah. I saw some more uh, articles on this. I might do another video on this. Um, I saw another article that went more into detail, um, talking about the histories and stuff and why uh, 
the indigenous Aborigines are old, that the indigenous American Afri Indians, the Negro Indians are old, these reparations. And I, and, the re and it's just quite obvious, you know, we never received it. And it, that's part of the main reason why we have not been able to overcome great supremacy because we've never been paid for all the free, the debt that this country owes us. You know, and they still owe us to this very day. And they still using us and on our backs building themselves. And this time is up, this freeloading is up. They're leeches, they're freeloading and want handouts, but the handouts are not for them as well. And this is not a handout. This is what is owed to us. <laughs> as indigenous people, they don't seem to understand, get that. And it's not for them, you know, and we're we're really getting tired and this fire within us is burning and it's time for them to, you know time for things to change and it's going to lead to something more fierce and you know more fiery and i say more fierce but yeah um elizabeth um elizabeth warm thanks but no thanks we don't you know, you the indigenous people, the Mongoloid Indians are not included in this. Till next time, love and peace, family. Bye-bye.